Welcome back. This is part three of uh, Ventures 4, Unit 10 for KCPC, as if we were on the 9th of June, doing this lesson on the 9th of June, and we are going to begin with the work. Page 120. But before we do, I'd like to go over a few expressions that you're going to find in this particular paragraph, which we actually went over at the end of the last lesson. So one of the expressions that they used was shower her with presents. This was a new mother who was at a baby shower and everyone was giving her presents, giving her many presents. So they, however, used the word shower. So what is a rain shower as opposed to raining. It's raining outside. It is showering outside. I hope you said that a shower is a light rain, but there's lots of little droplets that come down. They're very small. So when you shower someone with presents, you give them lots of presents at one time. It's like a rain shower, but it's a present shower. Okay, page 120, we read this and we're going to do it in, uh, this particular way. We're going to read the number one and look for the answer and then say the answer and go on to section two. Okay, number one, the definition of shower her with presents. To give someone many different kinds of presents. So let's go down into the article here, paragraph two, and I want to point something out that we have been talking about that I'm just trying to reinforce, and that is the use of parenthesis to explain the word that's before it. Everyone, beginning of paragraph two. A baby shower is a party for a woman who is going to have her first baby. The guests are usually all women friends of the new mother, and they come to her home and quotation marks, shower, end of quotation marks, her with parentheses, give her many different kinds of parentheses presents. So I'm doing that to emphasize how you're going to do it when you write your own paragraph and want to use this kind of explanation of detail. You can either put the word in quotation marks, or you can put the words in parentheses. <clears throat> so there we have it. Number two, two examples of things that a mother needs for a new baby. Let's go on. These presents are things that the mother will need for her new baby, such as clothes and toys. So the answer for number two is going to be what? clothes and toys. Okay, number three, the definition of a crib. Let's read the next sentence. If the friends want to buy a big present, like a crib, parentheses, a bed for a baby, end of parentheses. This is how you get, remember, this is how you do it when you're explaining a word within a sentence or a paragraph. Use parentheses. <clears throat> So what is a crib? A bed for a baby. Good. Next one, four. Two examples of housewarming presents. So now we're moving on to the next kind of, um, of special time, parties for special times, and this is a housewarming par party. So it says at the beginning of the third paragraph, everyone, when people move into a new house or apartment, they often have a housewarming party for family and friends. So they're making the house feel warm by bringing things into the house. Otherwise, it's going to be cold because there's nothing in it to make it look cozy. So sometimes the housewarming party is the first time that they cook for other people in their kitchen. Actually, People can choose to 
be the host or the hostess and cook in their kitchen. But in America, most people would probably bring something for the party if the people that are own the house are really busy and they are getting their house ready so they don't have time to cook or want to cook for lots of people. Next sentence, the guests usually bring a housewarming present for the new home, like a vase or a set of glasses, and they enjoy looking around the house, around the new house or apartment. So, number four, two examples of housewarming presents, a vase or a set of glasses. So, what's another way that they could, that they could receive a very large present? instead of several small presents. That's right. Several people would go in together to purchase one large present that would be from all of them. Number four, the definition of retiree. How do you pronounce that? Retiree. Let's read the next paragraph. Another special kind of party is for a retiree, an older person who is going to stop working. Often, the person's co-workers throw a retirement party on his or her last day of work. Stopping here, what is at the beginning of this sentence? A small introductory word and a comma. So remember, this is a good way to bring variation to your compositions or to your conversation by using a small introductory word such as often. And if you're writing, you place a comma. Next, after work, they have food and music. Any comments? Yes, another little introductory phrase, after work, comma, and then you begin the next sentence. <clears throat> Next, people make funny speeches and tell stories about the retiree. Sometimes, comma, they give presents like a watch or a photo of all the retiree's co-workers. No, just a moment. Notice the word co-workers. It is not two separate words. It's not one word. It's a word with a hyphen after the prefix co-workers. Next, then the retiree's boss thanks him or her for many years of hard work. Okay, last paragraph. All of these parties are fun, comma, but they also have a serious significance. They help people mark important changes in their lives. So what does the word significance mean? What word does it come from? Significant, significance. Okay, so significant means very important, right? Okay, perfect. So here we have 120. Let's move on to 121, please. Write a check if the sentence is true for each kind of party. Use the information from exercise one. So we just went over it again. Hopefully you'll still remember. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to do each category all the way down first. Rather than going across, we're going down. Everyone, number one, baby shower. This party is at home. Check or no check? Right, no check. Number two, this party celebrates a life change. Check or no check? Check. This is definitely life change. <laughs> Number three, the guests are usually all women. Check. Number four, the guests are all co-workers. Right. No check. Number five, people give gifts. Number six, the guests tell jokes and make speeches. No check. Actually, it's possible that people do this at all uh, parties, but they didn't tell you about it in this particular case, so we're not going to put a check. Number seven, there is food. 
check. Eight, the guests look around the house. Not particularly, but could they? Yes, but they didn't tell us in this particular paragraph, so we're going to leave it blank. Okay, next, housewarming. This party is at home. Check. This party celebrates a life change. Check. The guests are usually all women. No. The guests are all co-workers. People give gifts. Check. The guests tell jokes and make speeches. Usually not. Number seven, there is food. Check. The guests look around the house. Check. Okay. Retirement party. Number one, this party is at home. No check. This party celebrates a life change. Check. The guests are usually all women. No check. The guests are all co-workers. Check. People give gifts. Usually not. It's always a one gift, usually from the company. Number six, the guests tell jokes and make speeches. Seven, there is food. Eight, the guests look around the house. No check. Okay, let's move on to three. Everyone, read the sentences, circle the correct meaning of the underlined word. One, my parents threw a graduation party for my sister. What is another word for threw? Gave. Great. Number two, People who run big companies are often very rich. Another word for rich? They have lots of money. Number three, the object in the museum was made by a Spanish artist. A physical item. In this sentence, that is what object means. It's a thing. Number four, I couldn't go to my cousin's wedding because it was too far away and in another state. Another word for state? Good. Part of the country. Number five, in America on your 21st birthday, excuse me, in America your 21st birthday is a transition from a teenager to adult. Another word for transition, change in conditions. Good. Okay, so that's it for this. And now let's move into our student book, please. We're going to open to page 133. Everyone, 133, Grammar Connections. A tag question is a small question at the end of a statement. Use tag questions to confirm what you think is true or not true. A positive statement is followed by a negative question tag. And a negative question, a negative statement is followed by a positive question tag. So, here, they use the word tag, which means to put on the end of. Is there another meaning for tag that anyone knows? Yes, it's a children's game. And what do you do when you play tag? That's right, you run around, you run away from the person who's trying to catch you. And instead of catching you, what do they do? They touch you on your back. So tag is means touching something on the back of some, someone. So here, instead of someone, it's the sentence, and they're adding something on the back end of the sentence, on the end of the sentence. So that's how and why tag gets to be used in this particular um, situation. 
And what does confirm mean? It means that you say something, then you say it again, say, yes, that is exactly what I mean. Right? Okay, let's read the affirmative sentences plus the negative tag. We're going to go all the way down. Everyone, you like to tan to <laughs> Everyone, you like to dance, don't you? So like, positive, tag at the end is negative. Do not. Kind of crazy, but that's just the way it is. You like to dance, don't you? Answer, yes, I do. I like to dance. Or, actually, no, I don't like to dance. The positive part and the negative. If, if it's positive in the statement, it's negative in the tag. Next sentence, you're tired, aren't you? What does aren't you mean? Are you not? <clears throat> so, you're tired, positive. Are you not? Aren't you? The tag is negative, the opposite of what the statement is. Next, you went to a restaurant, didn't you? Positive statement, negative tag. Again, you went to a restaurant, didn't you? Let's read the negative sentence and the affirmative tag. What does affirmative mean? Positive. Everyone, you don't like to dance, do you? Po negative statement, you do not like to dance, tag positive, do you? Answer, no, I don't. I do not like to dance. Or, actually, I do. So you're saying, no, what you said isn't true. Actually, I do. I like to dance. I do like to dance. Next, you aren't tired, are you? Which part is negative? The first part, so the tag has to be positive. You aren't tired, are you? Next, you didn't go to a restaurant, did you? Which part is negative? So the tag is going to be positive. You did not go to a restaurant, did you? Negative statement positive tag. Work with your classmates. Use tag questions. Complete the chart. We're not going to have time to do this this time, but we are going to pick up here in the next segment. So to finish this particular short part of this video, look at the pictures on the right hand side. What do you see in the first picture? Okay. It is chocolate. How many people said a bar of chocolate? Because it's not just a piece of chocolate, one piece, but it's an entire bar of chocolate that you can break into pieces. Second picture, what do you see? I see a restaurant too, but I'm going to say I see the interior part of a restaurant or I see the inside of an upscale restaurant using more vocabulary, using more detail in your sentences. I see an upscale restaurant or modern or contemporary. Finding vocabulary words that I know you know, that I know you have, but being able to bring them out at the time when you can use them. Number three, Me too. I see a man yawning. Why is he, what else is he doing? He's covering his mouth. Why is he covering his mouth? He's covering his mouth because he's yawning. What is it? Okay, great. What do you see in the next picture? I see a boarding pass. Where is it? What is the person going to be doing? Flying. Yes, going on an airplane, taking an airplane. The next one, what do you see in that picture?
I see mathematical computations. What do you see in the last picture? I see a birthday hat too. Okay, see you next time.